Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial on how to migrate your Gloomhaven campaign on Tabletop Simula from Fantasy Setup 2.0 to the new Gloomhaven Enhanced. The first thing we're going to talk about is what needs to be migrated across the new table. We have your scenario progress, including which scenarios you have unlocked and which ones you have completed. We have your prosperity, which is tracked on the bottom of the map. We have your city and road event decks, which need to be migrated in the correct order as any cards placed on the bottom of the decks should go back to being on the bottom of the deck. Any treasures that you've looted from your scenarios need to be removed from the treasures deck. Any progress on your opening conditions needs to come across. All the details about your party, such as the reputation and name, any notes and achievements, and then the information about your characters, such as their experience, their gold, any perks they have, and any check marks. First thing we're going to do is load the Gloomhaven Campaign Manager from a workshop. This is a mod written by Sebastian, and this is the backbone of getting your data transferred across into the new mod. So we're going to select to additively load, and it's going to drop this little control panel right in the center of our screen. Now, before we click save, what we need to do is we need to do just a little bit of cleanup in our table. Uh, the first and most common thing you're going to need to do is lots of character players like to spread all their locked abilities out like this so they can see everything and just generally make a bit of a mess within their play area. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take all of their abilities that are locked and group them back together into a deck. If you select the whole lot and use your keyboard shortcut of G or right click and group, that will put all those cards back into a deck. Drop that deck back inside their play area. So each player has a zone which encompasses an area about this big. Make sure it's inside that box. We then need to rename this deck back to its original name, which is Advanced Abilities. So we're going to do this and check for all of the other characters. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to check the notes. Lots of people will write notes about their personal quests in this notes field. However, as you can see, this is actually the items field. So we're going to take those notes out and we're going to write them in the right hand side. Uh, if it doesn't fit in there, you'll find if you flip the character sheet over, there is an extended notes field on the back. The final thing you need to do to clean up in preparation for migration is to ensure all the details of your retired characters have been saved, including their enhancements applied to the infinite envelopes. To do this, you want to make sure this area below your party sheet is clear. So I'm going to move these opening conditions out of the way, and then I'm going to remove one of the characters. This packs the character up and drops the party box over here, which is why we need that space to be clear. We're then going to take this crack up and we're going to drop them back into the play area, which is going to expand all their things and all their abilities. It does tend to make a bit of a mess when it drops these things out, as the mod no longer knows exactly where to put everything. I'm just going to quickly get their items out of the way, so we can check. Within this, we should have one of their abilities somewhere here, Force or Storm. We can see this has the Curse Enhancement added to the attack. We're then going to remove this character again. Now you can see in your console it's printed out loading enhancements for class Crackheart, enhancement for class for Crackheart loaded. What that's done is that's modified this infinite envelope to have that enhancement within it. We're then going to drag our Tinkerer back out, drop them back onto the box to ensure we have all of their information back where it's supposed to be. That should be it for getting our campaign cleaned up. So now we come up to the campaign manager and we click the save button. So we'll take a moment, you'll see some parts of the screen flash around, your shop will get packed up and a floppy disk will get dropped in the middle of your screen. If you click on the show button, you can then go up to your notebook and you can see all the information about your campaign saved into a text form. So we have the enhancements from the crack up, 
we have the order of the city events deck, including which ones have been completed, the road events, any global achievements, prosperity, scenarios completed. And then we have the information about the individual characters themselves. At this point, we're going to go ahead, right click on this disk and go to save object and give it a name. Click on save. That's it for your 2.0 table. If you wish, you may want to save a copy of this just so you can come back in case you need to try again. We're then going to go and load up the new Gloomhaven enhanced table. Once your new table has loaded, head to the objects button at the top of the menu, saved objects and spawn your save disk. Probably spawn underneath the guidebook. Make sure you take a read through this guidebook to see what the new features are within the table. Now we have our disk, come down to the campaign manager and select load. This may lag for a short while as it pulls all the new decks in, which will require downloading all the new resources and spawns all the characters and their information. Eventually, now everything's complete, let's head over and check to make sure everything's come across. We have our inactive crag hut, we have our completed party sheet, along with all the levels. You'll notice that the scenario level chart underneath is automatically set to the correct level. Please double check your difficulty though in case you play on something other than normal. You can see all of our characters have come across. Their hands along with unlocked abilities have been reselected. You can see all of their items have been given back to them. Any items that have negative attack modifiers will have those modifiers placed on top of them. So just go ahead and drag them into your modifier deck and give it a shuffle. Any attack modifiers that need to be discarded as a result of perks will be placed just underneath the regular attack modifiers deck. You can see here we've got our experience, our gold, our items, our additional notes, our check marks and our perks selected. Over on the campaign map, we have all of our stickers along with the black check marks and red check marks to show our progress. Our prosperity has been done. Our city and road event decks will have been rebuilt in the exact same order that they were on on the previous table. Any that have already been completed will be placed in a removed pile just adjacent to where the decks originally come from, along with any random dungeons that have also been already opened. Any treasures that have been looted will be pulled out of the treasure deck and placed on the table. It's up to you to decide whether you want to keep these in a bag or if you want to delete them. And finally, our opening conditions has been updated with our progress here. If you remember, our crag heart did have an enhancement. What we can do is we can pull out a fresh crag heart, drop it into the play area, and we'll see right away that that forceful storm ability has that curse enhancement on the attack. And that should be everything to get you up and running on the new Gloomhaven Enhanced.